Hi, my name's Steve Murphy, and I'm with Teledyne LaCroix, and here today we are at Salig Company in Rochester, New York, and uh, looking forward here to present to you the new, uh, the HDO High Definition Oscilloscope, uh, the 4000 series, and just to show you some brief information about this, uh, this oscilloscope. Um, this is a, uh, again, a 12-bit uh, high definition uh, oscilloscope, 12-bit ADCs with two and a half gigasamples per second sampling rates. Uh, each channel has dedicated ADCs uh, in them, and uh, each channel uh, will go up to uh, 25 million data points and interleave to 50 million data points on two channels. So lots of memory to, to work from. When you're using a scope to validate your circuits, or you're trying to find things unexpected and then do some troubleshooting and debugging, this really is the best scope. 8-bit uh, scopes uh, uh, definitely uh, were useful, but now with 12 bits tied in with the features I'm about to show you, makes this a, a real powerful uh, scope and unique uh, uh, in the industry as well. So uh, show you here is, you know, you're, you're comfortable, you've been using other scopes, and, and uh, if you're new to LaCroix, I'll just tell you just quickly, if I touch the channel descriptor, all the controls for dealing with the channel are listed right here. If you want to change the coupling, I would do that just uh, you know, right here. Whether you use the AC or DC coupling or your 50 ohms or one mega ohm input impedance, real simple. If you're going to use a differential probe and look across at a current sensing resistor, well, you could put the value of the current sensing resistor in here. You can type in anything from specific values uh, or put your own uh, number in here for the value of the, of the current sensing resistor. Uh, and then you can change the units to amps. And with the, uh, the sensitivity set to variable, you can have the, and uh, now have the, um, the result of the scale factor for that channel to be uh, to match exactly what the with the uh, value of the resistor is uh, in circuit so quick and easy way to get to current uh, using this display but again the menus are really very easy to use and um, uh, if you want to set your trigger for example just touch the trigger descriptor or you could touch it on the front panel uh, in the setup menu either way is is fine or if you want to use the touch screen, just you would go up to the uh, trigger and do trigger setup and display the trigger dialog section from, from the pull down menu. So three ways to access it. You'll choose which one you like um, and what you're most comfortable with. Again, I just like touching the channel, just the uh, trigger descriptor and it brings me right to the channel dialog. So all the triggering you need is right here. And uh, whether it be simple edge trigger with or without hold off, and qualified trigger about triggering on one channel but only after you've seen something else occur in another or looking at uh, serial or looking at um, oh in our smart triggers you can also look at um, oh glitches and intervals and runs and dropouts or DVDT, DIDT um, uh, and uh, how for example a MOSFET turns off and triggering a uh, uh, within a range of certain values is all done in the trigger menu. So um, the, the, the product itself here, the HDO, uh, is a family of oscilloscopes. It's 200 megahertz is what it starts with. It uh, has 350, 500 megahertz, and 1 gigahertz uh, bandwidth choices. Um, there are some two-channel uh, versions of the scopes uh, in, at the 200 and 350 megahertz. Uh, otherwise, all the other uh, scopes are at four channels. Um, the, uh, there is a mixed signal uh, option. You'll, you'll want to consider that at the time of purchase or we can retrofit it after. But right in here, this is where you would add in a probe pair that would give you 16 channels of digital inputs. And that can be uh, tied into for acquiring 16 plus the four channels. And all of that can be trigger conditions on any uh, one of those inputs to the scope. Um, I think you'll find that um, there are tools built into the scope that, that um, are, you know, make analyzing and, and actually measuring uh, uh, waveforms pretty easy. If I go up to measure right here, and we can go ahead and turn on um, a parameter table and we can add different measurements to it. Oh, I'm just going to go ahead and add in uh, amplitude measurements and I'm going to add in 
O frequency, width. And so no problem just turning on statistic and making these measurements. So um, all the tools for making parameter measurements uh, using cursors, um, taking that, uh, that up to 50 million data points and creating segments so that each are triggered events so you capture only what you need to capture is, is done with this uh, uh, oscilloscope using history mode. You'll see that most of the, the key um, important features for, for um, validating your circuits are, are right here from a history mode to spectrum to wave scan and decode. Um, I'll go into these a little bit later with just uh, with other uh, videos, but uh, one the thing that to point out that I like to use here is uh, under a lab notebook that allows you to take this this image and this this waveform and save it as a report. So I'm going to do that now. I'm just going to keep the timestamp as a unique identifier for this report, and I'm not going to add in it. Well, I'll add in some text, right? You can add some text to tell you more about the report. And then we'll hit OK and save, and then I'm going to go ahead and, and you know, do some documentation, drawing on it, or circles, whichever. And, but anyway, we'll put this into memory and then um, save it as the report that we can then also look in and, and view um, at the, as the report including a flashback. So I'll get into that a little bit more, but for documentation tools, for making measurements, for exporting data at, in Excel format or uh, MATLAB format, for triggering on all the right information, uh, the right parts of a waveform that are of interest, um, this scope has all of that uh, uh, built in. Uh, it starts at 9,000 US dollars and at, on the 200 megahertz uh, oscilloscope. And uh, please contact Salig Company because they have the uh, expertise here to support you uh, and provide uh, more details as you need them. Thank you very much.